Hello, my name is Emiliano and I'm from Mexico. I'm from Leon, Guanajuato. I'm a presentation. It's about, um, sorry, it's about how to prepare a robotic competition. Like, yes, could be. Well, good morning, teachers, classmates, and nerve and someone else who is listening to me. Recently, we all participate on a competition called Enjoy EI. We all participate in which we not only obtain great results, but also receive it a lot of good and fun experiences. I personally believe that an event that allows us to improve mental development, acquire good and food moments with friends, and strength, self-confidence. Also requires a fair amount of preparation. So how do we prepare? First, we use four weeks before the event. Our teacher give us the tracks that the robot will follow. The eight classes have, is the, we have able, we will have only one purpose. Proper to practice and be ready for recording day. The teacher supervise and occasionally give us motivational talks to help us be fast, work well, and, and not lose focus. We work hard for great results. And I do believe that if you make an effort, you can always win a competition, no matter who you face. And that's everything. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you so much for sharing that. Okay, so for me, my question is what was, you know, the most fun thing that you did with your project or your uh, the... Okay, the phone is Thing that I do in my project? Well, I think that was at the moment at making one, how do you say, one track because my robot fell from the table. So it was a little bit sad, but at the same time was was funny. Is it okay? Is your robot okay? Yes, I think so. <laughs> did it did did it say ouch when it fell? <laughs> okay, so maybe Joseph has a question for you. Okay, okay. thank you so much, Torres. Not really a question, but um <laughs> And just to commend you for what you're doing. You have a very lovely presentation, and that was so wonderful. And um, we look forward to hosting more of your presentations, your ideas, your innovations um, in subsequent editions. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Emily. I know, I think. We want to also hear from the other kids. Should we start with Kaito or Abril? Who wants to go first? Okay, Abril. Hello. Hello, my name is Abril and it's a pleasure to be here. I'm 12 years old, I'm Mexican and I love robotics. Last month, my academy participated in a tournament called Where Dubai and my team won a second place. I'm with Emiliano and Kaito. That competition was online and three continents participated. Con countries are benefited for the acknowledgements that the tournaments gave you if you win or if you have a dedicated attitude. Sadly, you don't win every time, but, but the experience is incredible. If you win, you should know that later is another competition, maybe in another city. This week, we had a Wales-Bot competition and we hope to move on to the next one this December and it's on China. We would like to go, but we know it's not cheap. I know that many people would like to go but have the same problem, the money. 
maybe it's not a problem. It's only asking for sources to the parents, to government, or, or even a cupcake sale. It's only imagination and planning. Maybe another reason to not participate is I'm 12 but, and they are 18. It doesn't matter. You only need practice and passion. If you have both, you can defeat even a high school student. So I insist, international tournaments doesn't help you only in robotics. With acknowledgements of international tournaments, you can enter to a great high school or college. Also, I'm saving all the acknowledgements because one of my biggest objectives of life is a study college on Harvard University. I like that school since I was like four years old. Remember, I'm 12 years old and, and because of the great opportunities that robotics gave me, I know what I want and that is to continue studying innovation, focus on robotics and prepare myself for the next level, not in middle high school, then in high school and finally on college, hopefully on, on Harvard. That's why I invite you to participate in international tournaments because it gives you great, great opportunities and tools for life. Thank you. Thank you, Abriel. Well done. I'm amazed at how uh, passionate you are with what you're doing. And I really believe in what you're doing that you're starting very early. You're thinking of the end in mind. So you're already doing this with the idea that this will be very helpful to you when you go to high school and college, right? So I applaud you. 12 years old is not too young to think about those things. It's actually the right time to start um, building your skills, especially in what you're doing right now. It's not just the international competition, but in presenting and talking about it. So I'm very, very proud of what you're doing. Great job. Thank you. Uh, what was your uh, robot about? What did it do? The one that you said you won a competition in? Um, on the first competition on, or the competition that we had the, this week? The recent one. The okay. Was a little robot, like 20 centimeters for 20 centimeters is like this, no, not too big. And how the, uh, and if the function of that robot is to do some task, some mystery task, so to, in a, in a ride, I forgot how to say it, in a ride, um, and, um, take some points for that, for that task. So that's what. Oh, so uh, all the groups have the same task that you need to do. Yes. It's and like it's, a, um, it's like a table with mm -hmm. some tasks are like a task. So the robot have to do it um, much possible in a uh, little time. Right. That's, that's fun. Yes, it's like a little confusing to do the program, but it's fun. I like it. Amazing. Joseph, do you have anything to ask, Abril? Yes, of course I do. But um, let me first and foremost um, commend Abril for such a wonderful uh, presentation. So in this time and era, global skill is a sought after skill. In 2020, the World Economic Forum uh, gave out eight skills that define high quality learning. And the first of it was global skill, which is what you are advocating for every young learner and what you are equally doing. So I commend your bill and all of your a group Torres and every other person. So let me say something. Let me ask you a little question. What was the experience like when you first had your first international exposure? Were you nervous? How was it like? Tell us. Was um, it needs a long time for preparation for do uh, for ensemble the pieces to the robot and do a great uh, ride in the, 
in the competition. So you need preparation. It's a little, um, it's a little like crazy, <laughs> but it's great. I like a lot to do that. That's great. That's fantastic. It's good to hear. So, uh, Avil, I think you can take off from here. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I'm, I'm curious if you are in the same group as Emiliano or you join the same competition? You do? All right, so same thing with the other group. You also joined the same competition, Osmotronic and Kaito? Yes. Well, yes, I think so. All right, so maybe one, we'll hear from the other two groups first. Who wants to go first, Osmotronic or Kaito? Kaito. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kaito and I'm 10 years old. At first, when they told me we had a competition, I thought we were going to be last place. But then, one week later, we, we, the, when we were practicing and practicing, the, we couldn't get the tasks right. But the day of the competition, we the we got the task right, every task is right, and I and I was amazed. Hey, thank you for sharing that, Kaito. Am I pronouncing your name right? Yes. How old are you again? Ten years old. Okay, so do you do this the whole year round or do you only have a specific months that you do the robotics competitions? Like once a year or is it, you know, many times during the year? Many times during the year. That's great. How did you feel, Kaito, when you did not accomplish your goal the first time? I was, I was scared. I was scared at first, but at the competition day, we got the task right, the tasks right, and I was happy. And I'm glad that you did not give up. Right, that's the thing that you learn from these competitions: is just that to try and try, because that's how you learn, right? Yes. Joseph, do you have anything to say to Kaito? Yes, indeed, I, I do. Kaito, that's excellent. Uh, you've, just, you've just showcased a skill called resilience, oh. right? And um, going into the uncertain future where we need to be, um, uh, be going head to head with uh, artificial intelligence. Resilience is one skill that you need to go and thrive in the future. So I give it to you. That was a beautiful one that you did not give up. You came back after you tried the first one. It didn't work out. And um, fortunately, you, you won. So that was a good one. Kudos to you. Okay, so let's move on to the last group in this call. So can you introduce yourselves? Tell us where you're from. Introduce yourselves and go ahead. Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 Uh, hi. My name is Luis Delgado. I'm here with my team Juan and Cristina and Carles. Uh, we are studying in middle school. And, and we are from a Oh, um, I just wanted to ask, is Jake or Julie, like, over there? Like, Hi, Jake. <laughs> Can you hear us? 
I am here and I am listening. I am very impressed. Hello, Jay. Hello, Jay. Hello. We are in the background because we want you to be doing all the important work. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we just wanted to talk about our experiences on our last competitions. Um, so um, we just um, participate on a wear competition. Um, so here are our experiences. <laughs> Uh, we did it very good, but uh, we uh, to make it right, we need a lot of preparation and uh, hard work and uh, uh, a lot of teamwork because. Uh, the World Competition was in teams of three, and that gave us the opportunity to work out, to work with our partners and um, with the abilities of the other ones, and we make a good work. Um, the experience that we have, uh, it was, so hard in Morros, neta si no hablan fuerte no se escucha nada. Eh, hey, deja. Hablen fuerte. Este es... Pues in the experience that we had uh, it was too hard to work in a lot of, of tasks then we need to, to resolve all of the tasks uh, but at the same it was too easy because we are in, in, in teams and they and we work if each other. It was too easy in that part, but hard that you in the team we divided the the work, and one is programming, one another one is building, and and it was difficult it was a very interesting uh, experience, experience. Yes. yes so um i what i really remember is when it was like really late we had to finish the video so we could upload it and i just remember being really out of it like <laughs> I didn't because it had failed lots of times before and I was really nervous on this last attempt. But we at this at at last we said, okay, let's just do one more attempt before we leave. And because Juan already had to leave, uh, my other teammate, which is Sentry here, he had to do some medical stuff, um, had also really needed to leave. And I was kind of tired. So what I do remember is one, that one last attempt, we, we clicked on the robot, it did all of the tasks correctly, and we were really excited because we realized we did everything correctly and in record time, so we could, we had a lot of flexibility from there. You got uh, a any questions? Have any questions? First of all, I want to congratulate you. And I wish I had that experience when I was a kid. <laughs> Seems that you're really having fun with 
the robotics and with the competitions that you are joining. I'm curious though, you've presented in GIF before, right? Yes. Are you with the same group of kids or do you shift with group mates? We sometimes shift depending on how we want to like link up with teams. So for example, in one I can have him and him and another her and then, yeah. Huh. Or it depends on the ages of the mates or the competition. That's amazing. I have a question. I think I hear Mr. Mora's, Senior Mora's voice in the back. Yes. Is, is he yes. too shy? I, 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 can he come on the camera or is he too shy? Come on. There he is. <laughs> hey. Hey, how are you? No, no, no. I want to see, yeah, I want your face to be on because what happens is these children are not doing a wonderful thing in a vacuum. There is a person back there putting these things together and making them happen. And I just want to make sure, Oscar, that you get the credit that you deserve. Thank you, Jake. Uh, it's always a pleasure to be in a in a program like this with you. I know that uh part of this is to be as as a good person as you are with us every time that we participate in this in this type of events it, it's my it's my privilege to be working with such wonderful people we hello Phil, i'm sorry i didn't want to jump in but i heard his voice and i wanted to make sure that people around the world saw the face behind the voice <clears throat> Thank you. Yeah, well, as you know, uh, every time we try to participate in this, but kids get really nervous. It's it's uh, a big deal to be talking with you guys. It, this is an amazing event, a big, an amazing journey, and, and we're trying to do our best, and we're dealing, like always, with technology, internet connections and stuff. So this is uh, what I, I explained the parents, the families that we are together in this program that... Uh, uh, it is really important for the kids to be able to talk to you, to talk to you guys on the panel, and, and to be able to speak English, another language, start thinking about the, the things that they uh, accomplish, which is a, a, a big stuff for them, and, and try to explain them in the real time. It's kind of hard for them, but I, I'm i always pretty, really proud of this project and, and to be able to collaborate with you guys. Thank you. Yeah, there, I do have I do have one one question though. I I noticed that you're all from Mexico, okay, and yet I don't think I've heard any Spanish, and I know that there are people on YouTube right now from Mexico who are watching, and I'd love to have the, the students talk about their experience in Spanish, please. Yeah, I Okay. Ok, uh, creemos que nuestra experiencia compitiendo es muy buena porque ya que es en equipo, o sea, como que nos tenemos uno al otro. O sea, a algunos se nos dificulta otra, una parte y a otros otra, pero a muchos se nos facilita alguna que se le dificulte al otro. Entonces eso es como una ayuda así entre nosotros. Con cada competencia vamos aprendiendo algo nuevo, con cada competencia, con cada error aprendes algo que no debes repetir o algo que deberías repetir. Y el hecho de tener un equipo y gente que te apoye eh, hace mucho más fácil el trabajo y completar todas las tareas, todos los eh, tasks, digamos así. No, pues aquí yo estoy cuando... A mí lo que me ayuda mucho también en las competencias es tener una buena relación con mis compañeros uh, porque me sirve mucho saber que puedo confiar en ellos en cualquier situación. O sea, que siempre podemos, por ejemplo, ah, es un recesito y me la paso con ellos y ahí estoy platicando con ellos. Y... No, no estoy platicando. Así uh, de estar con mis compañeros y aprender. Este, pues, en cada competencia hay una nueva experiencia porque conoces mejor a tus compañeros de trabajo, a tu equipo, sabes cómo van a actuar bajo 
cierta presión, porque, pues, hay una presión, ¿no? O sea, tienes que resolver las cosas en tiempo límite. Cuando es en presencial, ahorita que estamos en línea, pues podemos hacerlo mil veces, pero sabemos bien que, pues, finalmente es como estar en presencial, o sea, dar lo máximo de nosotros, apoyarnos entre nosotros, y eso es lo que me gusta en el trabajo de equipo y estar con mis compañeros. Y también lo que dijo acá mi compañero Eduardo, tener una buena relación con ellos. Adelbeo, do you did, did you understand anything we said? Do you know some Spanish words? I know very little, un poco. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's great. You, Jake, did you? Muy, muy un poco. Uh, Joseph, did you understood anything we said? I I was completely lost. <laughs> but I <laughs> <told you. laughs> But what about the others? April, would you like to say something? Well, um, a mí me gustó mucho la experiencia. Fue um, una experiencia nueva. No estaba, no sabía lo que era competir en línea. Entonces fue una experiencia nueva, fue divertida. Y como mis compañeros decían, Anyone else? Heito? Emiliano? Pues la verdad es que para mí lo que yo quisiera decir es que fue para mí una experiencia muy significativa. Muy importante, la verdad fue bastante entretenido. Eso sí, o sea, va, o sea, trabajar bajo presión, pues también tiene su chiste, tiene pues sus complicaciones también, pero al final de cuentas es algo que te ayuda a mejorar. Así que a mí me gusta mucho. How about Kaito? Okay, I do have a question for all of you. I'm curious, can you think about your dream robot? If you can build a robot and you had all the resources, there's no limit as to how much you will spend. What will your robot do? Yeah, like a big company like Google or Microsoft wants to give you funds and all their equipment so you can build your dream robot, what would it do? Mostly like, we, we want a robot that we could change, like in some sort, like for every competition, there's different rules and different uh, ways that you can solve the tests. So what we really want is a robot that can do most, if not all of the, of the stuff in the competition without having much complications. So that would be. A robot that is prepared like for everything or can adapt. <laughs> adapt. They adapt. can resolve uh, everything. Every, everything, all the tasks. That's amazing. How about the others? I think I will do like a, a robot that have like um like some different like some different tasks for to do like help to do homework or other things like that to, to be like um i forgot the word like como se dice en like funny like make jokes mm -hmm. yeah how about you emiliano well i think that i would like a robot like for like a kind of car but it 
who make like the the task easier and faster. Well, I think that they can that can make easier the life of, of the people who who is at competitions. I think it will be fun. Yes, I think that's a robot that I would like to have. How about Kaito? I would like to have a robot like that could do all the tasks to play games with us, to make jokes, to play, to that could do like everything that we could do. Okay, thank you for your answers. I think most of you just really want this robot to be uh, like a friend somehow, right? A friend who is there for you at all times to also assist you in everything you ever wanted or needed assistance with. So like, you know, a really useful friend <laughs> to have. We will like him to make us tacos or something like that. <laughs> Yeah, even if you're lonely or feeling sad, that robot could even cheer you up. <laughs> How about Joseph? Maybe you have something to ask them? I think that would be a, the perfect robot. <laughs> yes, I agree. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are doing excellently well. I must comment to you all that um, you guys are building, you don't know, you, know, you guys are building essential skills that is required in the future of job. And that is collaboration. Right, because collaboration is needed. This is why we are here on a global platform. We have people from Nigeria, from Mexico, from America coming together to work collaboratively to solve a problem. So I must commend you all for always. Uh, I know that the, basically when you want to um, uh, achieve a particular decision, uh, sometimes there's always a little conflict, but uh, the fact that you get to learn how to manage uh, yourselves and agree on come up with um, a product um, that is going to solve the problem is something I must commend you. And then you guys are doing excellently well. Well done, guys. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. You're very welcome. Maybe before you go, can you give us any uh, advice for kids who are still not into robotics? Like, how would you encourage them to try it out? Telling them that it's so funny and you learn very useful things, not only for robotics, for life. Like, don't give up and continue trying. It's a great opportunity for life, um, as he said, not just for robotics, you know, the, I mean, <laughs> also for life, to daily life, all, every day you use something we do in robotics. Yeah, like it really, robotics has really taught us like how to see a task not as not as uh, something like an impossible wall we have to clear but as an obstacle we can we can solve in many different ways and it really helps us to think how to solve that obstacle and evolve as humans trying to make the world a better place. Yes. Uh, ro robotics is not to do like in the school and you need to practice and practice and present an exam. Now robotics is, is different that because we work in in team and teach and teach you uh, to do new things that <clears throat> can resolve any task or uh, a, lot of, a lot of problems that we need in our life that we have. And also it uh, opens you new doors and help you to make new friends. Amazing. Abril, any parting words, encouragement? 
I think that if they like to saw like robots um, working, I think that they they have to try it. Is um, is funny. It helps you like in life. Like they say to don't to don't give up and that thing. So I think that it's great to practice that type of hobbies. Emiliano. Well, I think robotic is something really difficult. Uh, the first time it's really difficult, but when you are, you are practicing, and you are you want to do something like mechatronic, like for example, this can help you too much. This also can help you at school because if you have like robotic at your school, this could help you to get better. But not only for for the school is because it can be really funny, can be difficult, it can be easier, but I think it's a very good, how do you say? Um, like a way to get, is a way uh, to get happy, yes. It's a, it's a good, like Abril said, a good hobby. Well said, Taito. Yeah, robotics helps you for a lot of things. Helps you to have more creat creativity. It's, it's for a lot of things. It's funny, fun, and helps you for a lot of things. Wonderful. So maybe we could also hear a uh, parting Remark from your mentor, Oscar. Yes, Senor Mora. Yes, I, I just wanted to thank you to, to take care of this uh, project every time you, you invite us to participate. I'm a, a big fan of all this global innovation field trip, and I'm trying to recommend this to, to local schools here in Mexico. I think. Um, Sometimes uh, we underestimate the power that we have in these type of platforms. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for inviting us. And thank you for the families to support their kids to, to start to develop new abilities, uh, new skills. They're really important. We're, we're convinced that uh, in our Academy of Robotics, we're working to get a better environment. We're looking forward to get something better for humanity and the planet. It's not just like robotics for entertain, entertainment. So uh, it is really important to have a proposed uh, to, to get a better life for people, right? So uh, that's why we, we celebrate these type of platforms and we're really uh, thankful with the, with the treatment for you guys. Thank you so much, Ella Bill. Thank you, Jake and, and Julie, if it's there. Thank you so much. See you in the next one. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.